One of the retrieving skills for your dog is being able to understand and use a search command. Now when you've sent your dog out perhaps for blind retrieve and it's got to the area of the dummy or the bird, you want to be able to give it a signal, right, that is the area, search hard and their nose will go down on that command and they'll really be diligent searching a small area to hone in on the bird precisely. And if scent's very bad, that is a help to a dog and it's a huge help if they've gone a long way out or if there's various things out there and you want them to pick a particular thing. So in, to teach them that, I use tennis balls. It's a typical sort of retriever trick and I've hidden them in some long grass and they're properly hidden. They've got to be completely concealed and you stay close to your dog and you encourage it to search and you use this command Or you can use the words high lost, or you can use whatever you like. Traditionally, high lost is pick up, find, it's there. All sorts of different things you can use. So I've, got, I've concealed a tennis ball at the base of four trees. One, two, three, four, finishing on that little line there. And I'm going to just keep her by me, ask her to search. Good girl. Dead good girl. You? Hello. Good girl. Dead good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Dead good girl. Three out of four. Heel. Hello. Hello. Good girl. Dead. Sit. Carrot sit. Very good. So when you're doing that, if the dog moves away from where the tennis ball is hidden, stop using your whistle, which I did particularly on the number three ball. She moved towards the water tank and I waited. And in fact, you can encourage them back to the area with a recall whistle, or you can do a little get back if they've gone past it. And then the moment they're within probably two or three meters of the ball, give them that search whistle. And you'll very quickly find the association becomes quite strong. And then when you're on a long retrieve, you can use it and it works.